Okay, we're doing it. We're talking about loose leaf pickup in Greensboro and all the changes being made. Griffin Hatchell, the solid waste collections manager, is joining Mayor Nancy Vaughn and so that we can have this discussion about this. Okay, so we have some changes coming and they start in February, which is just like two weeks away. So let's talk about what those changes are right away. So the end of, of loose leaf collection, as we know it, will end at the end of February. Um, starting March 1st, uh, we will eliminate plastic bags from collections and do biodegradable paper bags um, going forward. Okay, and so that is the timeline. It is February, end of February, starting March 1st. Now, a lot of people would say, in fact, I've got a question on here saying, you know what, why are we changing everything? I'm concerned about all of the leaves that are gonna be clogging up the drains. I think a great example was yesterday. Uh, we had a lot of storm drains that were clogged due to leaves. Um, and so that's what we're trying to prohibit. You know, I, I saw some amazing pictures yesterday and you could see that the, that the leaves had covered storm drains and it was making the water go into different paths. I had spoken to somebody in water resources and they said this was the worst year they've ever had of clogged storm drains. So it's an issue now and it's an issue because people do the loose leaf collection wrong. They put them in the street instead of behind the curb. Mm -hmm. Okay, and so that causes all kinds of other different kinds of issues. So when this all happens in March and we go to these bags, I think we've got a graphic that shows you, you know what, when the question and answer is on the website, it's all about the bags. So there's a 90 something gallon yard waste container and then there's bags. What's the deal with the two of these things? So the 95 gallon uh, container will be issued mid-May and will be completed by the end of June. Mm -hmm. um, it's just like your regular um, refuge or recycled container that you have now at all the single family homes. Um, so it's gonna be gray. The bags, we ask for um, biodegradable paper bags. They break down. I understand that people are concerned about being wet. Okay. Um, they do hold up. Um, we've tested that. Um, so seven days of dumping water on them and uh, they withheld all of the what we put them through. Okay, so and it's a paper bag. Yes. And that's very specific because mm -hmm. uh, there's lots of other mm -hmm. biodegradable kind of bags. Yes, there are. So you have biodegradable pl plastic and you have biodegradable paper. Um, the plastic is still not sustainable, so that's why we're asking for the paper bags. We are specific in that uh, with the ordinance um, because it helps the yard waste facility. Um, break it down even better. Okay, because somebody and, asked you, you know, loosely. Let me say mm -hmm. that most cities are going to the biodegradable bags. I know that High Point has it. They are um, enforcing it very strongly. So this is not something unusual that just we are doing. This person was asking, do loose leaf bags have to be clear? The answer is no, but they do have to be paper. Correct. Okay, and then someone says, do we have to pay for the can, the gallon, the 93 gallon? No, that is a city issued uh, container. Okay, and then some folks are saying this might make it really difficult for people who are elderly and things trying to get their leaves in a bag. And that's why we have the container. The container is very easy, it has wheels, um, so you're easy, easy to put the material in that container and roll it down instead of having to drag it. Okay. And people could ask for an additional one if yes. they so need it. Okay, this person's asking, will all the remaining loose leaves still be in the streets, be picked up before that changeover, before that March 1st? We will have another, just a, a quick round to see. At the end of it though, at the end of February, that will be the end of the program. If there's any additional leaves, they will need to bag them with brown paper, uh, biodegradable paper bags. Okay, so you guys are gonna make, be making several sweeps until the end of February, but if for some reason they still have leaves out there after March 1st, that's when they need to put them in those brown paper bags. Yes ma'am. Okay, this person says, when do we get the carts? Do we still have the option of sitting bags out? Yeah, you, you can set the biodegradable paper bags out um, after March 1st, yes. We will continue to take the paper bags um, throughout the year, uh, just they can't be plastic. Um, the yard waste container will be issued, be out for distribution um, mid-May mm -hmm. and should be completed by, everyone should have one by the end of June. Okay, and if you have a container and you have bags, do you put like leaves in the bags and put the bag in the container or you wanna leave that out? So, so we ask that you use the bags first, any overflow, be placed in the uh, biodegradable paper bags. And at the beginning of July, uh, we will not be collecting any personal containers. So if you have like the brute cans you get from Lowe's or Home Depot, we will not be uh, servicing that after July 1st. It will only be the city issued container. After? July what? 1st. Okay, so July 1st is another big pickup day that you need mm -hmm. to know. So you have to have the city container yes. by that point in time. Yes, ma'am. 
Okay, and so they wheel it out to the edge of their property just like they do with anything else? Mm -hmm. it, it literally is just like garbage and recycle, um, just like for contamination purposes. If you contaminate the yard waste container, so if you put trash instead of yard waste, it will be tagged just like if you contaminated a recycle. Gotcha, okay. And then where do you buy these brown, biodegradable paper bags? It's a great question. Um, so you can get them at Home Depot, Lowe's, Lawn and Garden Stores, Amazon sells them. Um, there's a variety of uh, vendors that we have that you can go out and purchase. So Lowe's, Home Depot, okay. all those places. All right. This has been, you know, the biggest change, right, that Greensboro has had in a while and people really are still just talking about it. They are, and I'm sure they'll talk about it for some time to come. Um, you know, many of our sister cities, they have discontinued loose leaf collection as well. One of the cities that I point to is the city of Asheville. And, you know, that's kind of known as the city of leaves. And years ago, they did away with the, they call them the sucker trucks. Um, and, you know, they've mm -hmm. lived through it. All right, so if the can provided by the city is full, can we then put leaves in the yard waste cans that we already use? Up to July 1st, yes. But after July 1st, we will not be picking up any personal containers going forward. Okay, we wanted to make that very clear. Yes. And then do we have to use paper bags or trash bags? And it's paper, 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 paper bags. Paper, 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 paper bags. <laughs> okay. <laughs> any last thoughts that we need to make sure that we get out? You know, I think that if any residents have any questions or concerns regarding the new program, that if you go to the City of Greensboro's website, we have a, a nice uh, website for the FAQs, that they provide all that information. They also do provide the timeline that was already shown. Um, so if you have any questions, I would feel free to, to go to the City of Greensboro's website. Okay, all right. So what we want to do is we want to make sure if you missed any of this, um, you have questions, maybe, you know, a friend or a family member was not home to see this today. We want to make sure that you have all of the resources. So what we want you to do is go to the two wants to know section so that you're able to get all of the answers to all the things that we talked about today. Mayor Vaughn, Mr. Griffin, thank you so much. We appreciate it.